hi guys in today's video i'm gonna show you step by step how you can use the magic media ai generator from canva it's very simple very useful and it is free to use so the first thing when you come over here guys on the magic media at canva apps you want to come and you want to choose your destination or your main object of work is it going to be an existing design or you're going to create something from scratch I always like to create something new uh, because this will give us originality and we're going to see something that we haven't seen so far, right? So you want to come over here, guys, and you want to click on create a new design, okay? When you click on create a new design, you will have an option to choose different type of content that is already framed. You have the right uh, content, you have the right aspect ratio, you have the right pixels as well so let's say in our example we are going to create a, a phone wallpaper a desktop wallpaper a book cover i think this is cool so how the app actually operates is you have to input a text prompt over here and then it will generate an image based on the text prompt right before we get into the prompt I want you to choose your style so you have a very conservative uh, styles more creative styles and you have animation styles so in our case we're going to create a book cover i think animation gives us the best results and also we're making the aspect ratio into a portrait mode like i said default settings are not the best choice everything has to be adjusted for every single project so in our example the prompt that i'm going to input will be create a book cover about a real estate agent in new york city that is very successful and has a lavish lifestyle has a lavish lifestyle generate the way we actually choose to be animation is very important because if we choose to be a regular strict it might pop out as just a average stock footage which you don't like like uh, random people you know doing something this is what i meant by having an amazing way to contribute to the content as you can see the magic media will generate four different uh, images that will match your description so if you look over here we have a lot of interesting objects right so this definitely looks like <laughs> ryan serhat i don't know why if you know who ryan serhat is uh, but it looks like a real estate agent the houses doesn't vibe with a new york vibe but he might be working in upstate new york so i think it's very very cool and definitely uh, surpass our expectations guys i think it's usable uh, you probably just want to add some text underneath right so it will be like the title of the book but aside from that, it's very good, high quality, and it's uh, definitely will get attention of the people who are into comic books or watching animations. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In today's video, we're going to review a fun way to use Part AI by simply utilizing a much more playful prompts. In this example over here, we're going to ask Bart AI to create a worth puzzle with a theme of cars in the previous examples in case studies guys you want to make sure you watch the videos on our channel we went through business finance e-commerce dropshipping uh you know we we created the newsletters with bart ai so go ahead and watch these videos as well look what we have right now gear up for this car tastic crossroads okay all words relate to cars and automotive world difficulty medium see clues across 
A device converts to fuel mechanic energy seven. What do you call a car with no doors? Hans Hans Can you <clears throat> can you make it more organized? Let me see if they can actually present the whole information in a better way. Because really, if you play with a lot of people, right? Okay, now we got it. Layout. Okay. Looks like Sudoku. D is down, W is across. Close. C1. Engine powerhouse. Okay, two. Navigation two. Okay, three behind the wheel. Very, very nice. You see, guys, if you uh, if you're with friends and you want to play games, this is how we can go about it. Very useful, very interesting, and definitely will will kill a lot of time. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. I want you to create a Google sheet table with three columns and six rows. I'm going to write that in. And once we write that in, you're going to see that it's actually going to create an actual column from Google Sheets. And look at that. How incredible. And you can actually export this to your actual Sheets design. Okay, it's going to open up Sheets. It's going to export everything. You know how incredible is that now let's move on to some other things like you can obviously use more integrations by the way like you have other extensions you can use google maps google sheets you can even search up things on youtube you have google flights and all like one last thing that i'd like to show you is the youtube aspect we're gonna write what is the most disliked youtube video well let's let's go ahead with that and we're going to search that up, you know, the analytical things that uh, you want to go through. And once you search that up, there you go. So it's actually going to give you a whole analytic. So it's going to say, you know, YouTube Rewind with the most dislikes. Then you have these all uh, down here that keep going on with even more dislikes. So, you know, you get the basic point. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a Copilot AI from Microsoft. In this particular example, guys, we're going to use uh, very, very balanced over here on the settings, creative mode that will help us to start a business. In the first example that we're going to go over here, guys, we're going to ask what products are good to start an e-commerce business in 2024 based on Google Trends. Let's see. In the previous video, guys, we used Bart AI to start a dropshipping store. Uh, we, we got amazing results. We got Google Trends, all the top search products around Christmas. We got amazing. You definitely want to go out on the channel and find this video as well. Let's see how the Copilot will perform in comparison with so what are we having over here let's see that's a great question e-commerce the, the, the dynamic competitive blah 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 sustainable products consumers are becoming more that's not what i'm looking for give me exact products You see, that's, that's not good. How about... Stop. We need to stop replying. Okay. Sustainable products, personalized products, smart products. That's not what I'm looking. How about based on search volume? What are the most 
searched products recently on Bing search. It didn't answer us for Google search. I think we all know why, but they cannot skip the, the, the question for Bing search. Let's see. Based on the web search results, same, same thing. Oh my gosh, this is very bad, guys. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like I cannot recommend you because they simply cannot help us. Can you even give us a practical information aside from generic sustainable products examples let's see keep giving us this same 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 tech i'm sorry for not satisfying my previous answer i was trying to give you uh, some trending categories of products that da, 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 da. if you want to check where do you sending me so if you want a more practical information you can check out some of the resources that i found from my tool for example so guys if you pay very close attention if you watch other videos we we did uh, case studies bing is very strong of giving you sources it's giving you links to the website it's not strong of building its own conclusions which i don't know if if we click on this for example they give us a practical e-commerce which provides new tips, guidance, and examples of online e-commerce. If you click on this one, why why would I click on this one? Charts of 2024, Outlook of Global CEOs, January 24. Oh, it looks like some blog post or something. Also, they gave us uh, how to start a business from scratch, guide from Shopify. Another useful resource, guide to comma, crazy egg. So guys, I cannot recommend you using a copilot for starting a business or any, uh, you know, real life advice or real life navigation or tutorial how to do something. Obviously, uh, so far, I can tell you that Bart AI is the winner. Uh, it beat ChatGPT. ChatGPT has outdated information and very confusing generic uh, you know, propositions and, and answers. So if you really want to uh, look to find, we created a, a Shopify business using Bart AI. Go out and find the video. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize Microsoft Copilot AI uh, Assistant. This is something very, very new and a lot of people are not aware of. There are small settings that you should be aware of prior to start using it. As you can see over here, the conversation style is divided by three different sections, which gives you uh, different type of, of questions, which could be more creative, which means you're not going to get the exact answer, or you can work with more precise. So the way how you can actually uh, communicate with it is by simply clicking the way that works the best for you. Now, example over here, we can shift to more precise and we're going to ask a question that requires very, very precise answer. Uh, for example, we are going to ask how much the US dollar depreciated, depreciated, depreciated since the Great Depression. It's a very good, very precise uh, question. There is no wiggle room over here because we know exactly when, 1929, we have the Great Depression and uh, we are having over here the exact numbers. So you can see over here. The value of the US dollar has fluctuated since the Great Depression, influenced by various factors. During the Great Depression, prices slumped, which is reflected in the value of the dollar. However, it's important to know that from 2011 to 2019, the US dollar appreciated by 23% against the broad basket of other currencies. 
this appreciation was due to the fact that this is not what we're asking right guys however the value of the dollar can also be influenced by domestic economic conditions for for instance the car dramatically so the value of the u.s gdp decreased dramatically in the first quarter great depression dropping to give me the difference in one dollar valuation between 1929 and 2023 how much does one dollar depreciated that's the accurate question over here, guys. Okay, value of $1 in 1929, value of $1 in 2023. According to the inflation calculator, $1 in 1929 is equivalent in purchasing power to about $17.94. 2024. This seems that the <laughs> this means that the value of one dollar has depreciated by approximately 16 dollars 94 cents over 95 years ago please note that this is approximation and actual value can vary based on various factors such as the changes of i don't think this is accurate my dear friends so again one dollar in 1929 is or was equivalent in purchasing power so in one dollar in 1929, you could have buy stuff that worth uh, 17, almost $18. Okay. This means that the value of $1 has depreciated approximately $16. So you understand that depreciation, if these numbers are, uh, are you know, accurate, depreciation is a real thing and it's, it's, it's taken away a lot of purchasing power from the people who are actually participating in the US economy. But this is very important. Again, guys, to give you a heads up. Every time when you're looking for a very straight up information and precise metrics, you want to use the precise mode over here on top. Remember what we did over here, right? You want to come over here and set precise mode for the AI uh, co companion, okay? For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to go through the Copilot AI Assistant from Bing. Uh, AI Copilot is simply helping you to analyze and distinguish a very complicated material, studying material that can simply analyze information for you and give you analysis. Uh, let's dive into the actual functions and let's see what is the main point of using the Copilot versus using the uh, Bing chat AI or using Bing AI or using chat GPT So in our example over here, we are going to ask What were the top? Performing Stocks in 2024 2023 excuse me Now we're sending uh, you know the algorithm going back through the whole Bing search try to identify the top performing US stocks okay just look at this the top performing stocks in 2023 among the companies that trade in the major US exchanges with capitalization of at least one billion dollars were Gene Medical International 3000 percent Soleno Therapeutics okay Carvana 1000 percent Carvana my dear friends Okay, bridge pile. Well, that's amazing, guys. So you see how you can get any financial information and they also give you a couple of links underneath. How about best performed crypto in 2023? Let's see, can we get some information about the cryptocurrencies as well? It's very, very interesting. 
And then guys, we're going to ask for particular suggestions or predictions. The best performing cryptocurrencies of 2023 with a market cap of at least 300 million were Conflux 700% guys, Injective 600%, Singularity Net 400%, Render Token, Solana 161, Bitcoin 152, Ripple 127, Compound 126, Autos, Lido, unbelievable. So guys, here is how you can actually extract financial information very quick with just like a couple of clicks without the need to spend an hours, you know, going through different analysis or trying to find uh, something that is uh, spread within like different blocks, different charts. With two, three clicks, you get where you're going. Can you, can you tell us what are the market expectations for these stocks and cryptos in 2024 right now we want to get what wall state is saying what analysts are saying what advisors are saying you know these people are going on cnbc to the talking and all this has been left as a as a interview information on the net so let's see can bing actually go out and find this and you know interface searching for okay market expectations doing good actually i would say that now the copilot is doing very very well much better than you know asking for a business plan or something of sort of okay now when we ask a very detailed information and using the precise setting on the filter uh, this is how you go you get things done guys now the copilot is extracting the information about what uh, is the market set as a ratings buy sell and they also give us the expectations for the price target so they're expecting you know the highs and the lows uh, they're expecting you know the stock to outperform beat previous year or you know simply reach its peak and, and converge so this is something very interesting this is how you extract majority of the information guys I would say this is probably one of the best prompts, the best way to utilize the copilot so far I've seen. And you know, you need to know exactly which AI tool is doing the best job in what, so you can differentiate your choices when you have a multitasking. For more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you should use the Copilot AI assistant from Bing AI. Okay, very important. Copilot is working differently than the BART AI or ChatGPT. They're working differently because they're good for different things. So the first thing I want to highlight, you want to come over here on Bing.com. You want to log in, create your account and click on the small icon on the Copilot next to the search bar now when you actually launch the copilot i want you to focus on the three settings above choose the conversation style i always use precise simply because i'm using it for business or finance uh, analyzing data big data you know trying to make predictions so in this particular example we're going to click on the lower right corner do you see the small keyboard icon you click on it then you click ask me anything and in this particular example guys we are going to ask about best retirement plans can you give us a list of best retirement plans in 2024 with great returns great returns and low cost expense ratio okay guys so we're going to go and send the algorithm back to bing search and he's going to extract all the people's reviews so somebody used this retirement fund this world manager this world advisor and he's gonna garner all the information who is happy from a service who isn't who got what they're looking for and who did not okay look at this here, here, has, here <clears throat> here's the list of 
the best retirement income funds in 2024 with great returns, low cost expense ratios, according to Forbes. Okay, so you see what it did? It went out there, you find the most reliable or one of the most reliable sources and it spits the information from it. So we have a Schwab balance funds returning 6.8%, expense ratio is 0.4, which is kind of high, guys. You see Vanguard Wellington fund, it's only 0.2 returning 7.9%, you see now we're talking lower expense ratio, higher returns, another financial advice. Dodge and Cox income fund, 2.8%, 0.4%. You see, the top four, they have like expense ratio varies between 0.2 to 0.5. We're going to the lower uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, a much more expensive T row price dividend growth fund. Okay, so it's expense ratio 0.6, returns 11%. But as you can see over here, they are focusing on the dividend growth fund. And I'm kind of a little, little more interesting. What is this? So if we hold our finger and we copy this one and paste it again, and tell me more about this. And here we're going to paste it. So because, you know, there is a dividend in the name. So I presume there's a portfolio of uh, dividend securities. But remember, dividends are also taxed. So no matter even if you reinvest dividends, you still have to pay taxes on them, right? And remember, dividends could be cut from the company at any time. There is no rule for them not cutting or preventing them from cutting the dividends. So this is something that I want you to be aware, guys. So let's see. So the TRO price dividend growth fund is a mutual fund that primarily invests in the dividends, capable increases, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the fund assets totaling among $21 billion. Okay, what they have, the fund has returned 3.8% over the past three years. That's kind of low. 3.8% over the last three years. Three years were 2023, 2022, 2020. One, 2021 was the strongest year for everything. I don't know where they were. The fund has returned okay over the past five years. The fund, the past and the past decade, the fund has returned 10 percent. That's still kind of low, guys. I don't know, maybe I have uh, different expectations, but essentially, this is how you can find the best information or at least very, very uh, valuable information with just a couple of clicks if you just know what kind of prompts and what you ask for, guys. If you appreciate this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel, guys, and come back for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Copilot from Bing AI. If you come over here, create your account, and log in into bing.com, you have this small icon next to the search bar, the colorful one. You want to click on it, right? You have a new chat uh, window over here with three different types of conversions. So we have more creative answers given from the actual copilot. You have more balanced and you have more precise. I always work with more precise simply because we're working with numbers, with estimates, with predictions, everything related to investing, you know, business related stuff business related stuff you know so in this particular example i want to show you all you gotta do is to click on the lower right corner where you see the small keyboard the next step over here guys is to click on the lower right corner where you see the small keyboard sign in this particular example guys we are going to ask please write an internship internship or job cover letter for uh, chop at the bank or any other major financial institution so the way how Bing AI and copilot works is essentially they generate all the information that is input in the actual search on bing this is not google search this is bing search so everything that anyone has ever put it as a course as a program as advice 
uh, you know, feedback, suggestions, they generate all that. They garner all like the most highly rated, uh, you know, templates for job offers, for internship, for cover letters, and they're going to give you a summary of it. So if you look at over here, what we generate, it's absolutely amazing. Even the font looks like it's so legitimate. Like you can click on the upper right corner and you can simply copy. You see, we just copy the exact template. So we have a very nice structure. I would say this is a formal structure. Uh, you have your name, your address, your city state, zip code, your email address, today's date. Uh, and then you have your actual future potential employee, right? The recipient's name, uh, bank's name, bank's address, city. Okay, I'm writing to express my interest in the job, whatever job you're applying for. It could be an internship, could be apprenticeship, right? Position in the name of the company that was advertised on, let's say, Yahoo Finance. As a finance student, okay, or finance professional, as we mentioned, you might have some experience. You're looking to, you know, find the work and you have a strong interest in their industry and in their company. I'm excited to, you know, have this opportunity and to contribute to your team. In my coursework, uh, you know, I'm da -da 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 -da, profound understanding. You see, guys, it definitely needs some tweaks here and there, but you understand where I'm, where I'm going, right? This is the best way you can extract value. I've been using Copilot and Bing AI chat for other purposes, such as, you know, planning your trip or GPS, location, navigation. It, it doesn't work so well. Or like give me like uh, top products to sell on Shopify or for uh, e-commerce. It doesn't give suggestions, but when you ask for a core, very straightforward, like an old school business, like methodology, paperwork, analysis, like big data it works so well it works like so so good so this one templates for like business for letters for documents it works so well for more videos like this guys subscribe and come back for more in today's video i'm going to show you how to use copilot from microsoft bing ai this is a very important assistant that is performing the best i find it so far based on my case studies in the business analytical numbers game uh, if you want to write a particular document or fill up a particular document or create a template of a, of a invitation cover letter a job of a resume uh, that type of documents it does do a very good job uh, there are particular flaws you want to make sure you watch my other case studies and videos on the actual ai assistant but in this example over here i am going to show you how you can craft a sales offer and how you can actually promote this sales offer using a marketing strategy. The first thing you want to do, you want to log into your Bing account. You want to come over here on the actual copilot. And then I want you to set the conversation style at precise. You see the three options, creative, balanced and precise. We always work with precise when we do business propositions or anything related to sales. Then I want you to go ahead and click on the lower right corner at the small keyboard icon. Here we're going to create our prompt and we're going to ask very detailed questions. In this example, I am selling a car insurance. Please give me a very targeted sales pitch with highly engaging uh, strategies to close at least 9 out of 10 customers so guys we we gave the general idea we present who we are and we set our goals to set at least 9 out of 10 rate of success so now let's see what the actual copilot can do for us and you can replace this with with whatever job you have whatever goals you have it, it's supposed to work i cannot guarantee you but every single strategy is the same 
so obviously they're trying to reach out in in the cold calling manner over here this is the sales pitch hello i hope you're having a great day i'm here to talk about something that we all need but hope we never have to use car insurance it's not just about compliance with the law it's about peace of mind okay highlighting the benefits our car insurance policy is designed with your needs in mind it offers comprehensive coverage that protects you your vehicle, your vehicle and others on the road we cover everything from collusion damage theft to personal injury personalizing the pitch you see guys it works very very well if you really know how to ask how to create the prompts it's all about the prompts i can probably create a 1000 videos here only with different prompts in different businesses so you guys can actually see how it works to be very clear, I tried to use Copilot and AI uh, Bing chat for e-commerce, for Shopify, for dropshipping. It didn't work. So they cannot give you like a business advice, but they can follow the line of, of like law and they can follow the line of formal uh, documentation, invitation, like this particular uh, type of stuff like motivation or, you know, sales pitch. It's very, very good stuff. You see, imagine driving on the rainy day and suddenly a tree falls and damages your car. You see, they even try to create empathy, try to give you an, a brief uh, overview, an example, what you could expect by getting this idea. <laughs> I'm not into insurance at all, guys. I'm not hyped about it. I just, just came to my mind because I know that this is very hard product to sell. Any type of insurance is hard product to sell because people are paying for something that they hope not never going to use, right? Anyway, I think we got plenty of replies and we, we got the point proven that this is how you can utilize uh, the copilot from Microsoft AI to create not only business plan, business strategy, but you could also create a sales pitch. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Bart to help you craft the best resume to apply for any job very easy guys very simple go ahead log in create account on bart scroll down here to the enter prompt section okay and i want you to type exactly what matches to your profile for example you want to start the prompt with i am you can say uh driver right uh, with three years of experience okay in let's say public transportation okay then you want to make sure that you let them know that you're very skillful you can say that you have uh, i have no bad reviews or warnings uh and actually received a number a number of rewards from the government okay public transport that's it now then you will let them know what are you looking for i am looking for a position in the private in the private sector as a personal driver is they got paid very well then you want to make sure that you let them know that you need please help me craft the best resume for the job then you hit next let's see what kind of objectives we are going to get okay let's see Highlight your relevant skills and experience. Focus on your driving skills. You see, guys, 
we got a pinpoints over here this is good why this is good because instead of us you know looting around trying to put so much irrelevant information in our resume the bart ai is telling us exactly which one we should include and which one we should exclude okay they said you know focus on your driving skills emphasize on your experience uh you know particular how safe you you have driven so far your you know safety practices your customer experience customer service your route knowledge very very important you know you can say uh, you know i don't need navigation i know all the roads i know all the signs i'm a very good driver a very safe driver uh, you can qualify for your experience by mentioning that the number of passengers you have transported you can say i have been you know into business uh, you know hundreds of thousands of people have have used my you know services then you said demonstrate commitment to safety you know you have to mention that you know you will go above and beyond to protect and and safely bring people from point a to point b uh <clears throat> you know transfer your public transport skills even though it's different kind of driving transferable skills like punctuality like time management handling passenger inquiries and maintaining calm under pressure okay so they said essentially go and take what you have what you used to do what you used to practice every day and imply this into the new niche the new uh job so this will simply make so much sense and it will be easier for them imagine you working for them right next go beyond driving mention any additional skills relevant uh, you know private driver positions first aid oh that's actually a very good point if you you know can provide like a first aid help or you know have experience driving i don't know uh you know escrow you know these cars that are going and collecting uh, money from the banks from businesses that's good guys you will be like more certified than others structure your resume that's very interesting essentially they say that you know you gotta keep it you know short and consistent don't make it too long uh tailor the resume and the information based on the requirements you should look what is required for the job and then build uh, your resume around what they're looking for and additional tips consider including a professional headshot you know nice picture maybe we want to go and get some nice nice photos right get feedback from others maybe you can get recommendations be prepared to answer questions about your experience okay that makes so much sense resources you can find online templates okay your resume is your first impression so make it count by highlighting the relevant skills and experience so as we saw over here guys bard ai helps us a lot to focus on the good things the important things and leave everything that is secondary and not so important out of the box very very good very helpful for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can use bing ai, AI chat sim <clears throat> hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to use bing chat ai to help you furnish your home or make plans to furnish your home make calculations approx approximate estimates you know the planning the structures where you're going to get all the stuff and how you can actually proceed and assemble the puzzle so very important note as usual bing ai works only when you are very precise with your requests, with your prompts, okay? This is not Bart AI or ChatGPT. You gotta be extremely precise, okay? So in our example over here, we are going to ask, we're going to say that I am planning to renovate my house, uh, which is in long i want new york uh, we're going to ask can you please give us an estimate for the labor and materials costs and i would say approximate and approximate 
duration or completion, approximate completion of the project. Also, guys, we gotta be uh, a little more uh, detail. We're gonna see that the house is made out of uh, wood and needs a new facade uh, and roof okay guys we were uh, very very detailed so let's see how it goes okay searching for hello this is Bing I'm glad you're considering renovating your house in Long Island City unfortunately I cannot give you an exact estimate for the labor and materials cost for the house because however I can provide you with some general information the restoration and may need to help according to some web sources the average so this is good they, so the AI chat might not have you know the exact info they might not have approximate estimates or something but they could essentially access the recent estimates or what people post on reddit or what people post as a reviews and they can give you what is the average and most common reply so over here they're saying that according to some resources okay uh, an average cost of remodel a house in long island is twenty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars wow depending on the scope of the quality of the renovation a full gut to the stops in remodel costs hundred thousand to two hundred thousand or sixty to hundred fifty dollars per square foot a kitchen remodel costs ten thousand to fifty thousand dollars on average and the bathroom remodels cost five thousand twenty five thousand wow so the bathroom guys will cost you uh, half of the actual kitchen remodel and the kitchen remodel will cost you like uh, a, a half of of the overall remodel of the house like 100 to 200k amazing a new facade and roof may cost six thousand to twenty thousand depending on the material style we choose to get more accurate estimates you may want to use a home renovation cost calculator okay so you see it also gave us a couple of recommendation companies for constructions so here is the the my question how did it generate this is these guys are paying bing i are, are they running ads so they're gonna get recommended and anybody else will not get recommended right that's a good question let me ask one more question can you give us uh an approximate uh, budget for only uh one room let's see one room and what else maybe backyard upgrades all right guys we want to we want to make it you know first big and large questionnaire and then we're gonna you know we're gonna niche down we want to see what we can get as an answer see if we actually make the task much easier instead of asking for the whole remodel estimation let's see the smaller one so sure i can give you the rough idea how much it will cost according to these sources the average cost uh, to remodel a home in long island is 30 to 70 dollar per square foot do you see that the previous estimate that we we got earlier were much higher were like uh it right over here guys 60 to 150 okay now we got down to 50 dollars right 30 to 70 dollars so it's a huge difference okay such living rooms bedrooms 375 dollars per square foot for the wet rooms such as bathrooms and kitchens this means that if you have 200 square foot of the room you may expect to pay six thousand dollars to fourteen thousand dollars for a dry room and seventy five thousand dollars for a wet room wow as you saw over here guys it's not so precise i would say it still gives us plenty of general information but these estimates if we you know assume that they are accurate it's still kind of helpful right if you're on on, your, on the go if you drive your car and you just ask a question randomly to get you know uh, some ideas how much money you would need for each of the spaces it's still helpful 
uh, make sure that you check the other videos and the other tests and case studies we did on, on the other uh, platforms such as Bart AI and ChatGPT. Subscribe uh, for the channel guys and of course come back for more.